Hello, this is Furkan from Lahore Graphics Academy and in this video we are going to install React Navigation 6 in our Expo project. Um, as you can see that the React Navigation is currently on 6.x and that's what we are going to install in our project. Um, you can open the documentation, this is the home page and you can open the documentation, it's super helpful and I will be coming back and forth to this documentation page for copying some code in order to save time. So let's just click on Docs and we will navigate through these as we move on with the video. So first of all, I have some basic steps written down. The prerequisites are that you need to install Node.js and Expo CLI in order to create a React Native project. Just a recap. And then you need to go to the folder where you want to create a React Native project. Then you run this command, which is expo init tutorial. Tutorial is the name of the folder or project that you will be creating. And then we are ready for React Navigation. So I'm assuming that you have all these steps completed and we are in the React Navigation part. <clears throat> I have this app.js, um, which is the first thing that you see and once you install the react navigation react native app and this is the default text that comes along so let's just rename it to um, Lahore graphics Academy. which doesn't make any sense because why not because we will be washing this out with our navigation but we'll copy it somewhere else so the first step that you have to do is install some dependencies for React Navigation. It's React Navigation version 6.x. The first thing we will install, you need to open the terminal or if you're using some other um, editor, you can open the command uh, prompt simply and direct it to this path where you have the folder installed. Mine is over here, Okay, um, React Native app tutorial one. This is my um, path that I'm that has been opened over here, the project. So let's start with step three. npm install React Navigation and Net Native. This will obviously install the React Navigation. So let's just <clears throat> copy and paste here and press enter. It will take time but it will install the given um, dependency. Let's wait a bit. So once the dependencies are installed, we can run the second one, which is Expo install React Native screens and React Native safe area context. Just copy and paste it. I need to run it here probably. Control V. Okay, so it's, it's installing. Let's give it some more time. Okay, so now it works. But it's a very easy installation. My terminal is probably blocking the commands, so I have to run through um, the Windows command line. Okay, so we have run two of the dependencies. Um, both are related to React Navigation 6. Now we are installing our stack navigation. And that's done through npm install um, and so on. Let's copy this and we go to the terminal again terminal but the command line and install it. So once it's installed you will be free to use your navigation. So this is the last step, last dependency that we are installing. So there are basically three of once you have your project you have three navigation dependencies. You know just to start with uh, obviously there are a lot more for now there are just three just to get you started so we are we have completed three and fourth step now we run our project with the help of npm start i'm using expo as i mentioned earlier npm start once we are done what i can do is um, you can see the changes on our graphics academy on the screen so now what i have to do is I need to go to the documentation and over here 
I want to go to Hello React Navigation part so that I can copy a few of the things from here. In order to use the navigation, what I want to do is copy this path, control C, paste it on the app.js, control V. Similarly, I copy this um, import line and I paste it here. You have to just use this. We, as you remember, we installed this dependency and this dependency. So we are using um, them in, in, in order to, we are importing them. Now, we will overwrite our function app. So what I will do is I will remove this part, the JSX that we are returning, and replace it with the one given in the documentation. Just copy and paste it here. And inside Stack Navigator, we have different screens. Okay, so there is navigation container, then there is stack navigator, the stack, there are a lot of type of navigations like stack, drawer, or bottom tabs. So we are using only one, the stack navigator. Then we have stack screen. Each navigation has multiple screens. We can have home, we can have um, contact. You can have as many screens as you as you want or as your project requires. So what I can do here is I can just get rid of this one and we will use two screens. One is home and one is movies. Home is home screen, movies is movies screen. Okay, makes sense. Now we neither have home component now and, and neither we have um, nor we have movies screen component because once we click on home or movies in this app we will be directed towards their respective components and in this project we have nothing <clears throat> so let's fix that over here we'll have um, home component and over here we'll have Probably. Movies component and home component. Well, basically, over here we'll use the functions and then we'll move on to the component folder that we'll create. For home screen, home component, for the home component, we'll just write a simple function, which is home screen. A function is home screen, it has no parameters and it returns a JSX. That's it, that's our component. Um, style is, you can ignore the style for now because style is not important. The main thing is the functionality. And now we have home screen written here, but we'll not write home screen here, we'll write home screen. Um, okay, let's write just home screen. Now press Control S, but before that I need to comment out this line because it will give an error as we don't have this movie screen component. Okay, we need, we have an error. We have not used this one and I just realized that we need to copy one more line. That is this one. Right after your functions, you need to import this line. So now we save it and first thing is done, you can see the home screen. And you can see the navigation at the top which says home so first step is complete now we create another component which is movies component so movies component i'll just simply copy and paste this function here control c and control v rename it to movies screen and i'll rename it to movies screen and i'll uncomment this part so that's, that's Press Control S. It will not do anything because by default our screen is navigating to this part. And I want what if I want this page to be loaded first? I'll just simply add 
um, a parameter in stack navigator component and that is initial group name and that is movies copy and paste and save so basically what it's doing is initial root name is movies so once the app starts it will be jump directly to the movie screen there you go you can see the movie screen is being loaded so our navigation is working now we need some buttons to navigate in between i'll just copy this and paste it here and and i will probably need to add some buttons inside the home screen um, in order to go to movie screen and a button inside the movie screen in order to navigate to home screen so that's basically what I will be doing but before that I need to divide it into components so let's create a folder and rename it to components it will have two files one is home dot js and one is um, movies dot js so we don't need this anymore and we need to shift these functions inside the home dot js because this is something that is not included in this in this documentation um, how to convert it into components so for those of you who are having difficulty Let's just try this. So I don't need this function anymore. For now, I will shift it into this home.js file. So this is the basic path that we'll be using. And here I will be implementing the function that we need. So let's just copy this function and copy or control X probably and paste it here. And we need to edit this line. We will edit it with this one, constant home and props are already passed here. We will, need, we will be needing this prop um, in a while, I'll tell you why. And here I'll create a button and a function. Um, a button will be, it's being already imported from React Native, so I can use that. Rest is equal to um, this will be given a uh, we will be creating a function outside it's up to me to keep my inner code clean so what is what is it is basically doing is uh, this function is being called over here Navigator details. We are passing the props parameter which we'll be using for navigation.navigate. So basically, this is the path. Um, basically, this is the thing that you have to remember. Whenever you have to navigate within a component, you need navigation.navigate. If there was another page called contact, you can use the same line, but this path will be different. And this is coming from this over here the, the name that we chose so we have a button we have not assigned it a value yet um, we'll name it go to movies screen okay so we'll go to movie screen This is a self-closing tag, so we have made a mistake. And view style, okay, good. Button title go to movie screens and on press navigate to details. This will take us to this path. Oh, function, and once we do this, it will navigate to the movies. So that's basically it. Control S, and once we save it, we will also save this app.js file. Control S. So we are importing um, the home long screen. So that's what we are importing and home.js and it's not a home screen anymore, it's just simply home. So just 
rename it to home press control s to save it now let's see the changes that we've done so we have goes to movie screen once we click that we are in the movies so there you go um, even though we have not converted this into a component we can do that just as we have done it with the home screen uh, you can do is just copy this and paste it here and we need to change some things navigate to details obviously we need that but we will going to home and this will be movies and return this is good go to home screen on press navigate to details navigate to and this is the function that I copied so it's not named correct Navigate to home would make sense. Use this control C, control V, control S, not yet. Movies now control S. This is done. And at home screen, we need to rename it to navigate to movies. That will make much more sense. Control C and control V and control S. <coughs> now in App folder we have to import it again we don't need this function we don't need these comments and control C and control V movies movies and one more thing we don't have this movie screen we have movies.js and that's it so as you can see we are we are in the home page go to the movie screen we go to the movie screen, go back to home screen, so there you go. We have a nice navigation at the top and the button is configuring just like we intended it to do. There you go, if you find this helpful just spread it. Thank you very much, see you next time.